we are back everyone let's see how it does coming up this hill here more specifically let's see how it does at the stop sign that's being included by this tree now I can see it and then it's stopping but it can't like it's it's better and worse at the same time okay well that was clearly worse um yeah that's the first time it's ever done that it's got on the wrong side of the road so that that's cool um everyone I, yeah if you saw my last video this unfortunately is not looking great um drives for going to Asheville. not looking great at all um so but this was better the rest of this downhill was better uh i'm just trying to stay positive here because so far it's not great my first couple drives are pretty good uh, and then this third drive and fourth drive not so great so far um, definitely having having issues there's a few things that are definitely better but um it's again it's the this is more like two steps forward two steps back <laughs> in other areas let's see how it does looking for cross traffic Okay, it was gonna go. Let's go ahead and do that. It should not have gone. And now we have a ton of cars coming from the right. <laughs> and don't go, don't go. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to go when it couldn't see. Yeah, so checking for cross traffic is not better. Trying to go again. I'm gonna now I have to back up. Okay. Yeah, th this is um. Well, I wanted to go. Don't go, don't do it. Oh my goodness, everyone. I was about to go run out in front of that car. This is garbage. <laughs> I can't even get out of this intersection without dying. It won't even... Okay, now we're safe to go. Wow. That was by far the worst it's ever done there. Like, I almost don't even want to go to Asheville, everyone. This is bad. This is it's pathetic. I, I don't, I really don't even want to bother wasting the time. Based on what the rest of this drive goes, I, I might not even bother um, with the time to go up to Asheville. It's not even worth recording. It's, kind of, it's just going to be that bad. Um, I wish I had a better Twitter following just to ask people, right? Like, yeah, we want to see it anyway. Um, so I'll ask uh, down below in the comments. Um, obviously, this will be way past um, today when this gets when I see these answers. But um, would you still like to see it anyway? It takes a lot of time. It's just to spend half a day to have just like a garbage drive. is It's it's not fun. It's not fun at all. I, I like this to be at least somewhat fun. Like, oh, look, it's doing this better. Oh, look, it's doing that better. Oh, it could be improved a little bit here. But, like, to see it just fail that miserably over and over again is, is rather annoying. It doesn't make it fun for you guys to watch, and it doesn't make it fun for me to do the testing. And so we'll, we'll see what it does the rest of this drive. I have historically done multiple zero disengagement drives on this route, at least I think two, two zero disengagements. And as you can see, we're not even close to that. This is, I think, the most disengagements that this drive has ever had. And we haven't even hardly got started yet. But um, we'll see how it does on the rest of the drive. And I think that will decide if I end up, um, if I end up doing this or not. Okay, so from my point of view, I can see this traffic is stopped up here. There's no reason I need to be going this fast. So I would have already started slowing down. And it's still not slowing down. You can tell it just started, it just recognized there's traffic up there and started slowing down on its own. 
while it wasn't a bad deceleration, there's no reason it shouldn't already be slowing down beforehand. Because there's a 99.9% .9 chance we're going to slow down by the time we get to that traffic up there. Because even if the light had turned green way back there, this line of traffic wasn't going to be up to speed yet by the time I got to it. So I was still going to have to slow down. So for the sake of efficiency and the sake of statistically me going 5 to 10 mile an hour less, statistically is safer because if something were to run out in front of me, that gives a le lower probability that I would get injured or whatever runs out in front of me would get hurt or destroyed for that matter. Um, but that's what's eventually going to happen in robot taxis. I always look for what the car should eventually be doing down the road, years down the road. There's no point in like, oh, it's okay for it to be doing it now. And like, maybe. But I always look for, like, how should the car ultimately behave? What is the best case scenario here for this technology? How can it best be applied? It should always look ahead. Like, it should always be like, that white sign you can hardly see way up there that truck hasn't even got to yet it should be able to like see that sign and know what it says like that's a 45 mile an hour speed limit sign it should already know it should already be adjusting the speed to that sign if I have a 5 offset it should go to that sign but it doesn't drop it until it gets here it should automatically be adjusting the speed before it gets to the sign stuff like that needs to happen which is why when they say, well, they, as an Elon says, Robo Taxi's level four by end of year, I'm like, how? You can't even get speed limits right. Like, how is it gonna be by end of year? You can't read right on turn signs. My pre, uh, last video, I tried to go right on red where it said no right on red. These, these are basics. These are very basic. This is, um, that you have to get those to get level three full self-driving. Uh, Level 4 is like, it gets all that right. The only, Level 4 means it gets all of that right. And the only mess-ups are weird edge cases, um, basically. Where, um, I should take that back. Based on the SAE de definition, Level 4 can do everything um, that a human can. And anything but, like, basically severe weather conditions. And, like, special, like... Maybe it's not going to go into like a military base or something like that. You know, it has to like be told where to go and stuff like that. That's level five. But level four should be able to do all this normal driving, 99.9% .9 of driving, um, with no issues. And yet, it really can't. Um, we are like level 2.25 right now. Or 2.5 if you got to go there. And level three will basically do the majority of your driving with minimal disengagements. So you'll have to disengage for like maybe a traffic officer. You'll have to disengage for maybe there's a moose in the middle of the road. You'll have to disengage maybe uh, someone just wrecked and you need to go around the wreckage. Um, stuff, rare events is the only reason you should have to disengage um, with level three. Uh, with level four, however, you shouldn't you shouldn't have to disengage for any of those examples, and I just don't see how they're gonna have level four by the end of this year, because it has to. See, see, notice how everyone else um, got into this lane immediately, and my car is like, "Herp derp, we're not gonna get in the lane." And also, it's green and yellow. So I'm pressing the accelerator the whole way through that to make sure the person behind me doesn't rear in me. I'm not sure why it left the blinker on there. So yeah, I'm I am very much probably not going to I just don't I don't I don't want to waste my day. I have such limit limited time everyone that I just I don't feel like wasting my day to uh, do this testing. I was already planning to go to REI. So right after we go finish this route, I'm heading to REI, but I, I'm i not gonna do the actual test today. I think that's what I decided. Uh, if you guys wanna see it, I will definitely do it here in the next, um, at some point in the next month, I'll do it again, just so we can see how it's improved. But the way today's go going, like that, it shouldn't have done that. 
I just I wasn't paying attention. I just got to make the lane change. It shouldn't have done that. And um, that that's normal for any previous version. I usually always cancel it, but I didn't this time. It's just it's not it's doing so poorly that I just don't I don't want to deal with it uh, today. I have a lot of other things to be doing than messing around with uh, poor driving characteristics like this. Why is it changing lanes back? I'm like, I appreciate that it's changing lanes into the correct, oh. That's why, my waypoint. That's why it, it did that, because I was trying to turn right here. Wow, it's, um, so that was good. Um, it saw that yellow light before I did and started slowing down before I realized it. Why is it trying to, I'm not sure why this guy on my left is so far back from the line. Yeah, and it drops to 45 and we're still going way... It braked hard because I thought that car was going to come out in front of me. They've, they're definitely changing stuff and making it relearn because this is definitely a regression over the previous version and they're trying to relearn a lot of stuff. That's what happens every time they make a big change. It gets worse at first and then it learns over a couple versions and then it gets better. This is exactly what's happening here. Exactly. So I keep saying of Kevin Lane change, but there, there isn't one until we're past this intersection up here. It could go ahead and get in right here if there wasn't a car in the way. Now it turns the blinker on. <laughs> well, it did it. I had to press the accelerator to make sure it didn't like freak anyone out behind me. Um, but it definitely made that. That was a more that was a sharper turn than I've ever had it do I think before so that's good in a way uh, but it does need to be in this lane and we'll see if the bad map data right here oh no it's it's changed the route it wants to go this is not the way to go in the target here I'm not gonna count that disengagement because um Wow, this person went up and over the curve, okay. Yeah, because it should be going this way. They keep our route consistent. You can go that way. Um, for sure. It seems as though they fixed the trying to get into the wrong lane. So that's good. So let's see if I, like, um... Yeah, see, this is the thing right here. Yeah, you, yeah it, it's because um, the routing was all weird. I didn't notice it had tried to go down this direction here to get get to it. We might have to stay a different store now to, to make it stay on this side of the shopping center. Also, it had to cross the double yellows there. And this is what happens all the time at this intersection, is that it always backs up. And when I did these early videos, everyone's like, oh, you can't cross the double yellows, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, everyone does it. You have to cross the double yellows to get into a turn lane. Otherwise, you'll never make it. The only way to do it would be to come up here, turn into this, turn, loop back around and come back down and then turn in. No one does that unless it's just super heavy traffic. It's the only way you would ever do that. Um, and then you also then, if this doesn't have a light here, you also have to cross oncoming traffic to get over. So it's, it's a lose-lose situation no matter what in terms of trying to get there. And the better option because of the amount of traffic would be to have gone on this light, gone this way. That would have been quicker. Um, navigation was, is right, but we want to keep this route consistent which is why I had it turned that way. 
We'll probably have it go to um, PetSmart. It is a little bit closer here, so maybe it would go this way still versus here, the Target, uh, in the future. Nope, that's not a justification. I was gonna go into the wrong lane. And actually, normally we turn. See the re the the navigation has changed. It would never normally turn right here. So yeah, that that's a navigation change, which is what um, has screwed this up. Uh, everyone, um, yeah, I'm. I've decided I'm just not gonna go to Asheville. Um, what we could do is have an interesting route to get the REI, but I'm not even gonna do that. Uh, it's kind of wasting your time and mine, so I don't want to waste your time on just a video that's just not interesting. Uh, the, clearly, the excuse I'm giving is that they are retraining everything. They have developed, they're developing new neural nets and they are retraining everything. And basically I'm the guinea pig for this version and that's what's, what's happening. Uh, if you have any questions, um, please put it down below, put your comments. I'm curious to what, know what you think of this version. Clearly it's, uh, re uh, in terms of di disengagement count has regressed heavily. And I think that's why they might've stopped, uh, stopped the rollout is potentially because of that. If you have any questions, just let me know and put a number below. Thanks, everyone.